Takashi Murakami is a Japanese artist born in Tokyo, Japan on February 1st, 1963. He lived in a household who valued art. His father was a taxi driver and also worked on a U.S. naval base. His mother was a stay-at-home wife. Takashi Murakami always knew growing up that he was going to be an artist. His younger brother Yuji also became an artist. As a child, Murakami was interested in anime and comics. He was eager to learn and felt that studying art would improve his skills. He enrolled at the Tokyo National University and earned a PhD in traditional Japanese painting, Nianga. Murakami's influences growing up was Japanese pop culture. It was not until his father worked on a naval base that he was exposed to Western pop culture. After his exposure of American pop culture and American life, Murakami was even more hungry for exploration and knowledge to search for his own style. In the 1990s, he worked as a teacher, teaching others techniques of Nianga. He had learned at the University of Tokyo. During his time teaching, Murakami was into otaku, which is the obsession of manga and anime. Murakami felt that his education in Nianga was good, but he felt Nianga itself is a was a compromised concept. He was unhappy that Japanese contemporary art was based on traditions and felt Japan had more to show to the world. During his visit to NYC in the 1990s, Takashi Murakami realized he was not satisfied with his current style of Orientalism. His early work was based off of Japanese events such as the atomic bomb and also personal life events, such as finding out the original site the atomic bomb was going to be released was his mom's town of Kokuru. Murakami learned to break away from the old traditional Japanese Western fine art and combine it with capitalism. From this concept, he came to form Superflat, which is a term coined by Murakami. Superflat is a postmodern art movement which is influenced by Japanese tradition, anime, pop art, and consumer culture. Through Superflat, Murakami unified traditional Japanese culture with otaku culture to form the contemporary scene in Japan. With Superflat came the creation of many characters from Mr. Murakami, the most popular being Mr. Dab. Mr. Dab is short for Dabazite, which means why in manga culture. Mr. Dab was an icon created to be a recognized character like Mickey Mouse or Sonic the Hedgehog. Mr. Dab is a mouse-like character where the D and B are incorporated into his ears and the O is centered for the face. Murakami created Mr. Dab, who is a constantly evolving character that embodies all the complexities and nuances of Murakami's changing personal and corporate identity. Mr. Dab, from his humble beginnings as a neatly geometric mouse to his later identity as a radioactive mutating monster, became both a brand ambassador and a stand-in for Murakami's creative ambitions. Murakami would create an enormous art piece called Tantanbo. The Tantanbo art piece is acrylic on canvas mounted on board. It is 141 inches by 212 inches and made up of three panels. This installation was exhibited in Tomio Koyama Gallery, Tokyo, Japan in 2001. The installation is of Mr. Dobbs stretched out, taking 90% of the canvas with only 10% negative space that is a colored gold and in the negative space there are multiple objects that resemble the galaxy. Mr. Dobb in this painting consists of the basic structure where the D is in the right ear, the O is in his face, and his left ear is the B. Mr. Dobb transfigures into a nightmarish head with gaping black teeth releasing toxic waste from his teeth into the space around Mr. Dobb and especially his face. This nightmarish Mr. Dobb in Tantanbo reflects Murakami's personal anxiety regarding the constant development of nuclear power in this world. Mr. Dobb is on the verge of explosion, decimated by consumption and waste. Throughout this artwork, especially in the Dobb, it consists of kaleidoscope colors that form geometric shapes. Tantan Bo's art installation was done on a cinematic scale with countless details and subplots. The process of Tantan Bo's production was over-the-top process, relying on a workshop of skilled technicians to achieve the extreme complexity and precise finish of the composition. Tantan Bo, with its large-scale production, opened up endless possibilities for Murakami, especially in the form of outside collaborations with non-art world entities like Louis Vuitton and Kanye West. Superflat's overarching concept sought to explain the culture attributes of post-war Japan, especially the popular characterization of the country as a prolific producer of novelty consumer products such as Hello Kitty. 
his collaborations with Louis Vuitton handbags have become one of the French house's best-selling lines. Through Superfly, Murakami explains that his art process is more about creating goods and selling them than exhibitions. For 30 years, Murakami had used painting to reflect on and portray our global contemporary moment. His ambition and adventurous ways helped him develop into the contemporary artist he is. He has shown the world to never be satisfied on just one thing. He shows everyone to be hungry for knowledge and adventure for development of one's personal style.